This week on The Wire, investors regain their mojo, rate cut, cash grab, and shortage to push prices. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, and investment. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now, top story for this week, investors regain their mojo. So investors have renewed confidence and are returning to the property market, and this is according to new research by the Property Investment Professionals of Australia, which finds a surge in buyer sentiment in recent months with corresponding price increases. PIPA's survey has found that over 80% of investors believe now is a good time to buy residential property and half plan to buy in the next six to 12 months. PIPA Chair Peter Koulizos says that combined with spikes in activity from other buyers, particularly first timers, indicates that a market recovery is in full swing and a revival in investor activity is likely to put upward pressure on prices. The PIPA research mirrors the findings of the ANZ Property Council survey, which reported a rise in investor confidence for the first time in 18 months. Signs of recovery have been emerging for some months with sentiment turning around since May, ANZ senior economist Felicity Emmett says. Clearance rates have picked up sharply, prices have been rising strongly, and housing finance is starting to pick up. So it certainly shows that the recovery is in full swing. Next story, rate cut cash grab. So Reserve Bank Governor Philip Lowe and Federal Treasurer Josh Frydenberg say there's no excuse for banks failing to pass on the RBA rate reduction to customers in full. But reports suggest the big four banks are reaping an extra $14 billion a year in interest repayments after withholding a quarter of all Reserve Bank rate cuts since 2011, while at the same time reducing term deposit interest rates by more than the official cash rate reductions. An analysis by comparison website Rate City shows the standard variable rates have fallen only 2.99% since October 2011, despite the RBA reducing the cash rate to 4%, or by 4%, I should say. The Rate City analysis found three year term deposit rates have been slashed 4.3% compared with four, uh, point, uh, for the 4% redu uh, reduction in the cash rate. Interest paid on everyday access accounts was slashed by 4.5% over the same period. PM Scott Morrison has rebuked the banks over their failure to pass on in full the RBA's October rate cut of a quarter of a percent to a record low of 0.75%. The CBA cut its own occupied rate by 0.13%, ANZ 0.14%, NAB and Westpac 0.15%, and Bank of Queensland only managed 0.1%. So a good time to shop around for mortgage customers. And now for our final story of the week, shortage to push prices. So the Reserve Bank says risks from banks to banks from the housing market have faded as big city prices recover, but it says rapid price growth could emerge due to shortage supplies. In its six month review of the financial system, the RBA has outlined a dilemma it faces in housing. While the market bounces put banks and many households in a better position, the RBA also highlights the potential for challenges in future if the prices rebound sharply. After four months of house prices rising sharply in Sydney and Melbourne, the RBA sees banks are less exposed to customers falling into negative equity, but sharp falls for approvals has highlighted the longer term risk of a future housing shortage, which may reignite rapid price growth down the track. With population growth strong, ongoing weakness in building approvals, this would likely result in a shortage of new housing in several years with a resulting risk of rapid growth in, in prices that would stimulate stronger debt growth. It seems sooner is better, sooner is better than later for those of you looking to get into the market. So guys, look, that's pretty much it from me. Now remember to like, comment, share this video, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned early next week for our Just Ask Tim video series. And if you want to submit a question or there is a topic you'd like to discuss, me to discuss in more detail, then there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great weekend. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. Action.